Want to really speed up your work in Excel? This is Rod from Burn to Learn, and today we're going to show you how using macros is the key to using Excel 2016 faster. Let's say you're a manager in a clothing store, and you need to present a sales report each month. Here's information for sales in January, but without any formatting. And while sales figures change each month, you know you will hate having to reformat the report each month. The good news is that by using macros, you will only need to do the formatting manually once. Then macros will do the formatting for you automatically for as long as you want. Here's how. First, you need to check to see if you have access to the Developer tab. Go to the File tab and select Options. Then click on Customize Ribbon. Read down the main tabs and put a check in the Developer box. Click OK. Now Developer appears on your ribbon. It's important you understand that macros function like tape recorders. When started, a macro records every move you make on your computer and then repeats the moves every time you call for them. To start a macro, here's what you do. First, click on the Developer tab and press Record Macro, and a Record Macro box appears. First, you need to give the macro a name. Excel defaults to Macro 1, but you can give any name you want. But you can't have a space between the letters. For simplicity's sake, let's stay with the default name, Macro 1. Now select a shortcut key. Be careful to avoid selecting a shortcut that is already in use, like Control-C, which is useful for copying. Let's use, for our example, Control plus Shift plus L. Now select where you want this new shortcut to be stored. Your choices are Personal Macro Workbook, New Workbook, or This Workbook. Let's select This Workbook, which is about your monthly sales report. Now press OK. When you pressed OK, the macro started recording. So now you should start formatting your sales report. To keep things simple, let's just make four formatting movements in the January sales table. Number one, make the titles bold. Number two, fill in the header cells with the color blue and make the letters white. Number three, give enough space to each cell. Number four, Select Currency for the numbers. Now return and click the Developer tab and press Stop Recording. Now go to the February Sales tab, select any cell you want, and press our shortcut Control plus Shift plus L and see how you have your format in seconds. Now every time you do your sales report, instead of wasting time and effort reformatting again and again, you just press the shortcut key and Excel 2016 does the formatting for you automatically. And if you ever want to change the formatting, you simply return to the Developer tab and edit the recording. If you like this video, please remember to comment, share it, and hit the like button. And do subscribe to our channel for future videos. Also, inform people you know that if they can access a computer, they too can burn to learn. Thanks for watching. Want our accelerated learning program? Become a member of the Inner Circle and accelerate your learning with these seven learning tools. One, direct chat with experts for fast answers to your questions. Two, one-on-one -on -one coaching to grasp more complex computer skills or needs. Three, an interactive coding platform to teach you coding skills and concepts. Four, an exclusive video library not on YouTube to build your knowledge on many topics. Five, a placeholder that automatically returns to the exact place where you stopped watching. Six, downloadable exercise files to lock in your learning on especially tough topics, and seven, continued access to our free videos on YouTube. So click this button to begin a 14-day free trial 
After the free trial, you can join the inner circle for a low price of $9.99 per month. Use your free trial to look around and check us out. Then start learning computer skills on an accelerated basis on Burn to Learn.